hi i'm frankie welcome to my channel today i filmed this look it's like orangey shimmery eyeshadow with a nude lip i wear this all the time when i go out it's one of my go-to looks so i thought it'd be fun to sit down and film so yeah i'm gonna get started and i'll zoom you in so yeah i'm just gonna zoom you in and i'll get started hello <laughs> so first i'm gonna start and moisturize with my neutrogena hydro boost water gel it's like water based not oil based so it's like not greasy like sinks into my skin really nicely i'm gonna take my anastasia eyebrow brush the name's rubbed off but it's like the one with the spoolie on the end really good and my anastasia dip brow in medium brown take this and i take a little mount and put it in the inside of my hand there i used to put it on the back of my hand here but every time I went out, like, I forgot about it and it looked like I had a massive bruise on the back of my hand. So, yeah, I brushed through my brows. Not that I've got that many, but you've got to kind of deal with what you got. They've actually grown out a lot as well, so quite proud of myself. What I do is I... Oh, I need to get my eyebrows plucked as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I underline my brow where I think I want it. My brows aren't very consistent, but what can you do? brush it through it makes it not too harsh like it looks a bit more natural in my opinion then what i do is i go to the top i try and make a little bit more of an arch so i go up then i go ahead and just like fill in the middle with like small strokes i'm happy with that one i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same with my other one off camera so to clean up my brows i use my zoeva 322 brow line brush and I take my shape tape and put a dab of this on the inside of my hand as well and underline my brow this makes it nice and sharp and clean and it also means that if you do go a bit uneven you can like kind of even them out using the concealer then what I do is I drag the concealer down a little bit literally you could go so wrong doing your brows and you can fix it all by doing this Okay, so now I've carved out my brows. They look a bit more, like, less crazy. Oh my god, I didn't wear my beauty blenders. <laughs> Just wet my beauty blenders. And take my heart shape tape. Dot a little bit on my eye. So this is just to prime my lids for my eyeshadow. So I just blend that all the way over. I bring it down, bring it over, up my nose a little bit. Oh, take my Real Techniques brush that looks like this. Just dust lightly over that to set it i'm gonna go in with my who beauty rose gold i'm going to take my zoeva 228 lux crease brush and dip into sandalwood which is this one down here this is going to be my transition color so i'm just going to place this in my crease do this for quite a while just to make sure the color's nice and diffused Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to dip into henna, which is the one next door. <laughs> Just keeping this within the crease, blowing up a tiny bit, but not too much. Okay, once you've blended that all in, I'm going to take... I'm trying to decide what kind of look I'm going for. <laughs> okay, so in my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take... I don't really know what the... they're called. I think it did come with a thing, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to take this red here, it's like a ready brown, love it. Mm. I'm going to take my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease, dip into that colour. Once I've placed that colour down like that, I'm going to head back in with my other brush, which is the Zoeva 228, and blend that all out. So funny thing, I can't really close one eye. I'm better at this one. I can't really close that one. <laughs> I also have, um, I don't know what it is. Let me zoom you in and show you. So like these little lines, they just don't leave. And I don't know what they are. I'm gonna take my Zoeva 232 brush. This is a Luxe Classic Shader. This probably isn't what it's meant to do, but I mean, that's what I use it for every time, it works, so. And I'm gonna take 
this shimmer here on the corner. I'm gonna wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. Now I'm gonna place it on the inner wall, on the inner portion of my eye. I'm not gonna go for like a full cut crease because I don't want to. And I'm not that good at them yet, but I am practicing. I'm going to go off camera and finish the other side. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Okay, so I'm back. I've kind of like evened about a little bit. It is what it is. So I've accumulated this little beauty. So basically another fun fact, whenever I get like nervous or excited or drunk, yeah, any of the above, or just hot, I get so blotchy like I've probably got them all. Yeah, I'm starting to get it here. I'm just a super blotchy person. So, what I'm gonna go into now is my primer. I usually use my trusty Too Faced one, but like, I'm literally. Oh. Oh. Nothing left. I was rummaging through my makeup bag because I obviously don't have a primer. And I found this. It's like a sample, it's the MAC Prep and Prime. So I'm going to try this out. I don't really use much MAC stuff anymore. I'm kind of over it. This is actually feels really nice. Hmm. Going in with my Becca. Oh, what's it called? Becca Ever Matte Paula's Prime Infector. And I warm it up in my hands. And then I'm going to put it all on my trim. My T zone. So I'm going to take my Dior Forever Skin in the shade 22. Put this straight on my Morphe. M439, this is literally such a good foundation brush. Okay, also push it into your hairline. So I kind of leave my under eyes because I don't want it to get too cakey out of there because they're quite dry anyway. I do find that this foundation sometimes clings to my dryness. So as soon as I've like buffed everything with my, in with my brush, I go straight to my beauty blender and I pat it in over on top. Oh, that is so bad. So for Christmas Luke got me um, this really nice eyeshadow palette and I have a few other things that like I haven't tried out yet even from like the summer and stuff like I just kind of forgot I had which is bad but I remember now and I'm thinking about doing like a first impressions of them to see how they work out for me. My erase paste, this is quite peachy, makes my dark circles like not noticeable. So I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush and just go in under my eyes. Yeah, once I like buff that in and I go in my Beauty Blender again, just that dot it in. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use both, but less of the darker one. So I'm gonna use Light Neutral on the bottom a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Light on top. I don't use too much, but I mean, use enough. Bring it down the centre of my nose and on my forehead just for like brightening them. And actually, sometimes I use this beauty blender so I can like cut the line there. See how neat that one is. This one fucked up. I'm gonna get my Laura Mercier powder again. Sometimes when I use the um sponge it looks a bit more cakey so I try and avoid that under the eyes so before I go in with my powder I've got it on my sponge and I'm going to just go in just to make sure it hasn't settled in any creases and then just pat the pat setting powder okay I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 230 Lux pencil all the way along my lower lash line just like one of these brown shades. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna put it over the top just to blend it out. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my Taylor Blue Hot Mess contour palette. And I'm gonna mix the two bronze shades together, as usual. Just tap off the excess. And go in big circular motions. And then I bring it around my forehead. Okay, so next I'm going to take the middle shade, the contour shade from my Taylor Blue palette and go 
long. And then what I do is I push it up from there. I think it makes it look more natural. So after that, I go in with my Morphe E3. It's nice and fluffy. And I just really blend it in. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my Zoeva. 235 contour shader brush. I'm gonna go in on my contour shade. I'm just gonna carve out my nose. Now I'm gonna go and drag it all the way up to my eyebrows. Like drag it down like I did with my eyebrows. I'm just gonna drag it down my nose a bit. On both sides. Brush and just blend that all out. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I am going to bake my contour. So I'm gonna take what's left in my cat on my Morphe sponge and just go along my contour line. I'm going to do this start on my highlight. I'm going to grab my Iconic Illuminator Drops, I think they're called, and I just take a little drop, like a little of this stuff goes such a long way. Okay. Merry so sometimes if you use a lot of powder underneath, it can break up the powder a bit because it's obviously liquid on powder. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Pre-blinding, I love it. Mm. Oh, so I've shown you this before, but I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I'm gonna mix these two shades together, which are Moonstone and, and Tourmaline. Like that. My finger, and I just dab it up my nose. I also put it on my top lip, chin, and above my eyebrows. I don't do my illuminator drops all over my face because I've tried it on my nose loads of times, and I always have problems with my with makeup on my nose. Like it never really sticks. I don't know what it is. I think it might be just like extra dry. Oh my god! I forgot to do my eyebrow gel. Here's my eyebrow gel from NARS, it's clear, just to push my eyebrows up. Oh my god, blush! <laughs> my favourite blush, I'm going to use Sweet Peach, Pap Papa Don't Peach. Although, this cheek is looking pretty pink. I can't believe my blotches showed through this foundation. Now, I'm not a pro eyeliner. I actually only learned on Christmas Eve and now it's the... 8th of January. I use the Kat Von D ink liner. Okay, so I just finished my eyeliner. I mean, a bit, bit lopsided, but <laughs> what can you do, you know? Now I'm gonna just coat my bottom lashes in my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes in waterproof. I always use waterproof mascara because I cry all the time. <laughs> I like little old men that are super cute. Coat my top lashes in my Dior Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. This is like the black and silver one. It's got a curved mascara wand. I'm just gonna coat my top lashes. My Allure Lights from House of Lashes. I love these. I'm really cack handed, so like I'm not good at putting them on with tweezers, so I have to use my like fingers. I lost my last one of these, the duo, because I didn't realise you could get this in England, so <laughs> I was like throwing a strop for ages that I lost it, but you can get it here, so I've got it again. I like my real lashes, no one would know, hey? Now I'm just going to go over and set it with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I go in with like one of my palettes and just fan it in. I have a tart lipstick that goes so well with this look, but I don't know where it is. So I just overline my lips because I haven't got any. A little bit bigger, a little bit more plump. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I had so much fun filming it. As I said before, I think I'm going to try and do a first impressions video because I have quite a few new things that I want to try out. I might as well try, try them out on camera. Like, why not? So yeah, stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos.